Hello there and welcome back everyone. I think it's safe to say we're on the verge of making something wonderful here. There's a lot of fine tuning left to do with the middle somehow, but it looks like the main final form is practically there, practically done. It's a lot of little cosmetics and like I said filling out the middle. But first thing I want to do that I've been experimenting with is probably try to adjust the positioning of this ship a little bit. I was wondering how it would look with uh, bigger scaling to make it look a little bit thicker. So I think that's pretty good. Engines are a little bit big and they're a little bit out of place so I also need to kind of scale these mega cannons down as I'm gonna prop aptly call them. Scale them down a little bit. I don't know about making them narrower just yet but we're gonna try and make this a little more believable although probably need to add some components on the side after the fact so do I make it wider well that's making it narrower so wider or n how wide do I want to make it if I make it wider I probably don't want to make it too wide and of course making it longer could be a bit problematic maybe I like the idea of it being longer but of course you got a lot more of this block blockiness to it that I'm not really fond of so Gonna have to pull for it a bit more before we come to a final verdict. Verdict even, so besides that though, let's put this back into place in the middle there to some extent. Try to adjust it so the engines are not ideally clipping. Although, that is a bit of a problem, isn't it? So we may have to fix with that some so the engines are not quite in the way so this will still take a little bit of work unfortunately so bear with me a moment because we're probably gonna have to move everything else forward some just to get a little more consistent theme or consistent look and not have too much clipping one problem is I don't know where exactly the wings start fitting in properly because right now it doesn't look like it fits in the best yeah, I'm starting, and I'm also starting to double guess what I'm trying to do here. I don't, because I'm still going to need to fill out these mega cans like the side there, so maybe that's what I should do first. Get some kind of component on there to kind of help fill out some. I'm not sure what component would be good, because it needs to be kind of a simple component. It doesn't need to be much, it just needs to connect to the wing and not make it look so, I guess so... I don't know what the phrase is I'm looking for, damn it. I had it and then I lost it. It doesn't look so jarring, I guess is what I want to say. So make it seem to fit in there flushly. So we're going to go with this. I almost wonder, yeah, I almost wonder if I want to change the texturing some. And we try and center this actually. So by centering that probably means I sink into the wing and try and just scale it in a way that it affects both ends ideally and we'll see how that looks because we're getting close to this being completed it's just a matter of making sure we fine-tune it and that's offset I do not want offset damn it don't give me that offset let me get the proper scaling here and see what else needs to be done after that's in because it sticks out a little bit in the front, but easily off I can easily offset that back. And it's not nearly as intrusive, maybe. And the lighting there seems to fit. It's just not so It just doesn't seem like it's in all the way. That's the only issue there. And otherwise, it doesn't seem quite centered either. It feels like it anyway, because the wings are lower, so... It's hard to really judge. So I added a tiny bit there. I do like it. Just do I have the mega cans go in more? Actually, now that I'm thinking of it, because these can easily connect to the superstructure here to help with that. Only problem is, are those wings going to be a issue? Because I would like to put more engines in the middle. It may not work as well as I like now because they're in too much. I'm I'm worried I'm threatening to ruin all this work I put in by making these tweaks. So that's what scares me right now. 
It looks so promising I'm going to end up ruining it. I don't want to do that if I can help it. I just don't know what's the best way to keep from ruining it. Because the engines are going to be a little bit jarring because of that little component there. And if I back up too much, then the back, the wing, tip of the wing sticks out. So this is going to be an issue. I still like the form though. It's just that back that could use some somehow some fine tuning. Not exactly sure how though. And we'll see. We got a circular component to just fit right on top here. Is that a circular component? I'm assuming it's a circular component. Doesn't look, actually does not look like one at all. So never mind that thought. It's good for a little thruster component, I guess, but I want something circular to round it out. But I guess I'm not getting it here. Anyways, what else do I want to add? Really? Not much else. From what I can s make from this. Unless I want to add something on the side. I don't know. I don't think there's any way I can use this component to fit the way it would like, anyway. Unless I fit in the back there. Kind of help make the weapon stand out a little bit more, maybe? I kind of just need another one on the opposite side, though. And it helps cover up the roughness of this big blocky piece, at least. So I do like the potential of that. Now, do I make it bigger? Do I make it longer anyway? Because it helps make the weapon stand out a little bit. Hell, I'm almost contemplating sinking in even more. And it almost works there. It almost works. Can I do a little bit more? Those look good for like a wing of some kind. Do I take it do I take it back further now I'm thinking about it? Maybe I don't want it there. Maybe I want it back here in any way. I think that looks better. It's not quite centered as far as be looking like it's part of the wing though. Only issue there unless I put it right in the middle. Lots of things to experiment. And I hate, I'm so worried about ruining it right at the last moment. Well, just like I almost did there. Come on, I want the set axis, damn it. You figure I would know what the set axis was, would be at this point. And to raise it up a little bit. That's not even the right axis, is it? Nope. Go figure. Alright. This is not quite balanced. I'm ruining it, like I said, that I was worried about. Does that even do anything or does that make it worse? It helps make the weapon look more complete. Again, what kind of weapon is it going to be? Because after all, all it's going to have is like laser cannons and no, nothing really else exciting to it. So I don't think it adds more to the weapon. It just doesn't make... I just don't have an actual me weapon to justify all this cosmetic touch to it. That's the only problem. That's the only problem with that, but I do like it. Is that enough to complete it? I'm not sure yet. Still, there was an idea here that I like, that had, that I thought had potential was like something to kind of round out. So maybe I do something similar to what I did with the Banished, and use this kind of like a, a flap, a, a channel, some kind of relay to kind of heart channel the the power that's going through the wings. The only difference is this would be an actual weapon as opposed to this disruption technology that was in my banished ships. Also I think I need single degree rotations because I'm not quite sure what form this is going to take and I want it to be fitted in properly and it worked really well on the banished I gotta say. Is it going to work here? I'm not sure but at least it'll smooth it out some if I can get the right setup. At least it could. Right now it's not looking like it. I'll be honest. I'll be perfectly honest. It actually works pretty well. <laughs> the engine fits right perfectly there too. It's almost like it's intended. Do I want the lighting to show though? 
because I almost want another pair exactly like that on the opposite side. Can I do that again? It's not quite sensors only problem, so let's fix that. Let's try that again. The only problem is I have no idea what the placements are going to be. Because I think they're going to be completely different. So scaling. 129, 105, 298. Okay, 298, 105. And... Let's try and remember this. 29... What was it? 298, 195, or 105. Let me just double check. I already forgot. 298... 129, okay. We'll go with that scaling as a reference and then try and find a good positioning for it. And we'll work from there. Now, is it possible to get similar offsets? Negative 3, 2.1. 2.1, and then what was the rotation? Rotation was 355, so 5 degrees, I'm assuming. And not quite perfectly placed, so it needs a tiny adjustment. And how does that look? Do the, the wings seem to connect together? I think they do, but because it's inside, the wing component's hard to really judge for certain. It's a little difficult to judge, and now I'm seeing this block. That's the wrong block. This one could use be wide a little bit more. But now it threatens to clip when I do that, so... Not working as well as I would like. I can offset it now, it's not to an extent, and that should help fix it. It's just becoming apparent when I move it back now that the lane's there, and I don't think I want the lane because it... It is not quite centered. Hmm. Does that mean I should lower everything? Pr probably not. I don't think I want to lower it. And I think I'm done with that gun for now, because that looks like a weapon of mass destruction, right? What? But it's going to be sure. And it's going to be shooting nerf darts, though, as far as I'm concerned. So it's not quite as amazing as I would like. Now. The big thing, the big bugbear, is trying to fill out this component here because we got a lot of gaps that are not exactly appealing. What's the best way to fill it out, though? That is the big question. Did I even invert the skins on the textures on the inside? Yes, I. Did I? No, I didn't actually. So that might help too. Make that look consistent. Okay, where was I? We were trying to figure out how the hell to fill this thing out, basically. And I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to do that, to, as we already kind of deduced. So we're going to have to try and find some random components that actually have probably circular components to kind of slope in there. Because the more and more I think about it, the less I want to really use the Iconia pieces, to be perfectly fair. And I'm not, because the texturing would stand out too much. And of course, I don't think having a big massive piece is going to work very well. Because it's just going to cover over everything that's inside. And it doesn't look very appealing. Because of like the, how the texture looks. So there's no way a big component is going to help fix this problem. We need like a lot of smaller components to kind of smooth it out and round it out. Only problem is we don't have a lot of smooth circular type components on this. Which is a bit of the only problem. So I'm not sure where to go from here. And I will be perfectly honest, I'm not sure how to fix this. I could easily throw a couple blocky components in these little sections here, at least, to fill out this little front portion, but that's only one section. I'm almost wondering if I want to rotate. Oh, and I have single degree rotation. I'm going to need to fix that. I think it might be worth fixing. Because I think I'm done with the single degree rotation for now. So we'll get a copy of that. I think I made a copy. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. That's much better. 
we'll start this one piece at a time and see how it looks. Maybe rotate up a little bit so that way the top piece slopes inward. Or almost, I could possibly infer it. That seems like a dumb idea though. But we'll start having, we'll have to fix this one piece at a time, which I don't really like the prospect of very much. Because it's going to be slow and it's going to be tedious, and where the hell did my piece go? Where the hell did my piece go? And that's the wrong axis, so. Oh, it's upside down. That explains it. Jeez. No wonder I was having such a hard time finding that piece. I used the wrong inversion again. Go figure. It seems like I never can get the right inver axis for some reason. I just keep randomly clicking until one actually clicks for what one I'm looking for. So, let's try this again, shall we? We're going to rotate upward like this. And we're going to use the proper axis and see how we can fit this into place if it's at all possible because I don't think I want those to uh, stick out at all do I now I think that's safe to say but it's so close to going flush with that top piece which I kind of like and now I'm tempted to go back to one degree axis a little bit annoying because yeah that flushes really well only problem is it probably it doesn't really help our issue does it now I don't know what exactly I'm going with this. Not right quite sure, but it fits in there, that's all I know. How if I leave it like that, how do I go from here though? Hmm. I'm not certain. I know I don't really care so much about this portion, it's more like just the side there making sure curve slopes downward rather than being blocked that's my big concern and I'm half tempted to get rid of this one piece here is that a good idea I don't know if I want to just straight up delete it so let's just move it out of place and see how it looks quite frankly that looks better again needs to fill out some spots so and I can't remove it because it's connected to something well, that's going to be inconvenient, so I have an easy way to fix that, though, actually. We'll just sink it into the ship, and that will be our way to just uh, throw in the garbage. Don't want to ever know that it exists, so. And it helps to give it a little more slender look and not a blocky look, but still doesn't solve what I need. Unless, there's one thought, maybe I make this all shorter. It's not quite a good idea because something's being pushed. There's one component here that's being pushed. I think I know what it is, I just gotta find it, yeah. I ended up just randomly deleting that piece. That may not have been a good idea, but... I'm theorizing maybe pushing this a little bit further forward. To help. That didn't seem to hurt the overall look. Everything else is probably going to need to move forward as a result, though. And then we'll probably notice the discrepancies. Nope. That still seems to be moderately intact, so... I don't think we need to worry just yet. But what else needs to be done? I still feel like there's more to fit in here. At least, at the very least, something little tiny components that attach like in here to fill that out maybe I use these can I use these components in any way can I use this component anyway maybe this will work at the very least it'll work as a weapon port of some kind for maybe missiles I don't know for much what else though because it's not gonna have like a good arc for actual turret so we'll see in a moment And I could also rotate some. Just give me a moment. I think this could work. I'm just not sure what kind of scaling I want for it, though. Not yet. Or if I even want to invert it. 
because inverting, let's see, it could use a little more rotations because it doesn't look connected. So let's connect it properly and then see how it looks. I think that's the best I could do. How does that look? It's not bad, it's just now, it's the actual front cannon port is like sticking out or sinking in. Only downside. Rotate a tiny bit more. So that way that's not a nose bowl. And we could do the same on the other side. And how would that look? Would that fill, finish, fix what I'm looking for? It's not going to make a good weapon port because it's going to hit the front. So what the hell do I use this for? If I use it for anything. Unless I have it upside down, is or invert like that. That does that make sense, or is that a dumb idea? It would make a good bulkhead, that's for sure. I'm not sure if that's what I want, though. Damn it! I don't know what I want anymore. This 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 ship was going so well, and I think I ruined it. I ruined everything. I'm just not sure what I want. This would make a good bulkhead, but. It's a bit of an eyesore, maybe? Maybe it's just the textures that are doing that. The textures, it doesn't stand out as much. But I don't think I like it that way. I like it more, quite honestly, this way. It's uh, I can't treat this as a cannon, though. For what I just said, it's not a very effective cannon. Needless to say. Because it doesn't really got good firing arc. So how do I treat this, or fix this component? Hmm, not quite certain to be honest. But I like the look of it better. At least as far as rounding out the superstructure, I just wish... Is there a way to make it look like it's not a gun? Instead it looks like some kind of vent or something else maybe? Because that's what it looks like right now, it looks more like a gun. I don't know if I like that. Mm, I don't know how to quite fix it. Because sinking in, of course, doesn't solve anything, because we're back to square one, essentially. But I can have the metal trim kind of go seamlessly with the piece underneath it. Maybe that's okay? Maybe? I think I'll go with it for now, and then think about it later, if I do want to change it. Now we gotta figure out how to do it again on this other side. So what are our axes we're looking at here? One seven, one two, oh, oh five. Okay. I don't think that's gonna work for me. One seven. Cause that looks like it's a bit out of place. I'm gonna go with a limit say, unless it means it this way. We're gonna find out in a moment. One, two, which completely sinks it in, and O5, so I I think it's safe to say this does not work to what I want. Nine, five, six, two, fifteen. Let's try and see how, if this is, is what I want or not. Just bear with me a moment, we're almost done, but I've already forgot my access as I'm trying to talk at the same time. So I'm blaming you folks, for no reason. 6, 2, and 1, 5 was it? Let's see, how does our axis look? Did the same. So we got that down at least. Of course, shading makes it really difficult to tell if its placement's right. Which really, really sucks right now, because I don't know if that fits or not. I want to say it doesn't. I'm assuming it's not in place. I just don't know that for sure is a problem. And the ultimate, and you don't want to go with the strategy of just leave it there and hope no one notices. That seems like a bad strategy. If only there was a way to kind of like change the lighting, that would help a bit. 
But anyways, I think that does it to an extent. And what we need now is to try and f continue on this lighting theme, because I do like how this lighting goes along the ship. Only problem is, how do we continue on with the lighting? Because this side has lane, but of course I just made devils, so that doesn't work very well for me. So never mind that thought. Because I would like to add a little bit more lighting if it's at all possible. The annoying thing is I have to connect it with all the way to the front and move it back. And I can't even move it back all the way I want now as a result. Ugh. So this is going to be a bit problematic. Just a little bit. Because I can't even connect this piece here without a mirror underneath. Which I guess is okay. I guess considering I need another piece on the bottom, that should be alright. So let's try and see if we can round this out a little bit and try to fill in some. Because I'm looking forward to seeing how this ship works out. I just need a nice consistent lighting theme. Yeah, I could easily throw it there, but that doesn't help much, does it? I don't think I want to just make it that simple, do I? But then again, like I said, I could pro probably throw the other piece in. The last piece I just tried to throw in there for, like, the main body. So I guess this could work. I'm just going to figure out what kind of look I want for it. Because I think that's okay there. So let's try it again with the big component. Where is it? I don't know where it went. What the hell is this component? Well, that's more lighting. Is that okay with me? Oh, it's more of like the cockpit area. So I don't think I want that. Because none of that's really going to be showing, is it? I want to say... So where the hell is that component I was using? And what the hell is this component? This is not a cockpit area of some kind, but I could invert it and do something with it, maybe. Maybe? I'm not sure. Although the bomb does... Uh, upside down does not do a very much justice, I gotta say. Hmm, I don't think I want to go with it. Because this looks like it's meant to be a connection point, not the other way around, so... So much for that thought. Okay, I think we found the component I was looking for. Nobody panic. We found our component. Now, what the hell can we do with it? That's the real question. Damn it, we're back to one degree rotations again. Let's fix this, shall we? Fix this, hopefully. Get a nice consistent lighting theme up on top. And hopefully we'll be able to call it a wrap. That is the hope. It remains to be seen if that is how it results in. Because if I were to put this lane here, where would be ideal? I think really I want to put it more in the front portion. So that means it needs to shrink quite a bit though. And I can also flatten it some too so it's not sticking out as much. And we'll see how it looks in a moment. Get connected to the front. A little bit of, yeah, it doesn't fit flushly enough as I like, but otherwise, how does everything else look? Hmm, I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it, at least I don't like it there. So is there anywhere else I could put it? Because I think maybe the only other option is right here, but maybe if I adjust the scaling. Let's try shrinking it a little bit more. Hmm. Actually, I think I know what I want to do. Instead of going with the mid side there, let's just make it part of the middle, I guess. Now, do I have the right axis? No, I don't. Figures. Figures I got the wrong axis again. And I don't see... Okay, there we go. I was worried we weren't going to be able to center it. 
So now flatten it. To see, flatten like that. What happens if I change the textures? That helps with the lane there. I like it. It goes all the way back. That I actually can live with. It still doesn't fit fix what I the concern I have with this little flat spot. So, what can we throw in there to add a little more life to it? I'm not quite sure. Again, there's no like sloping components, so I have to go for like blocky components or these crates, which I don't like either. And we still have to get engines on here, so maybe I leave it as is? I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure, but let's get some engines at least on here. And I would like some blocky square-like engines, which I don't think these pirate factions have anything of, so... Let's turn the floodgate back on. Thankfully, I was prepared for this. Go back to my Iconian pieces and try and sneak in some of their engines in here. Okay, it helps if I get the proper style. That would help filter out a little bit. Do we have any kind of square thrusters? Rit Circular? Come on, I thought there was something that was square that it can kind of stretch. Of course, it's not very well organized, so... I'm left wondering where it is, if there is one. No circular thruster, damn it. Multi thrusters, don't want that. Double thrust, double thrusters don't want you, damn it. Where is it? I'm almost certain it was like a blocky type of thruster. I guess not. So so much for that idea. So, what are my options now? Not really a whole lot besides just putting generic thrusters on there, which I don't like. To be perfectly honest. What a what actually counts as a generic thruster anyway? Engine. Because if I separate this by type, it's not going to actually show me very many engines, is there? Wings, bulkhead, shells, thrusters. This is all we have for thrusters, so not exactly effective. Needless to say. So we're going to have to get a little creative. I think is my option here. And I want... Yeah, I actually want to connect it to the side, because otherwise if I put it in the middle, we're going to have horizontal copies, which I don't want. I'd rather just have these side-by-side -side kind of set up. Let's, and let's see. How can I make these thrusters work? At least they got the square thrusters I want. It's just going to look really inconspicuous with how much is good of this component's going to be sticking out, so... This may not work. I just want to point out right now... And oddly, the rotation's a bit off. I wonder why it is. Oh, okay, because the wing or something's rotated off angle. That's... Maybe that's probably what did it. That would explain to an extent. Because it's still slightly off angle. And it still begs the question, what can I do about these thrusters? Because I can easily make them wider. I can make them bigger. But again, we're going to have to deal with these components sticking out behind it. Which is going to probably ruin the look I want. And I still can see the off angle. I see it off angle and it's annoying to me. So that looks like it's close right there. Now, is that enough? I kind of want one more little thrusters in the middle because we got texture glitching there and adding a thruster of some kind will help fix that. To an extent. Okay, but this is not going to be a good way to do it. Can I just get a big thruster or power generator? Power core would be useful. It stands out a little bit, and of course we got more devils, so... This could backfire on me really quickly. 
bear with me, folks, unless I can connect them seamlessly together, because ideally I want the texturing to stop glitching. Now, can I fuse these together in any way? Well, I guess that does it, but that wasn't what I exactly had in mind. Unless I could stretch it upward? This seems like a dumb idea, but I wonder if it'll work. Would this work in any way that fits? Not quite, unless I can somehow make it seamless. If I can get those two prongs to connect together, maybe that'll work. But again, now it's completely centered when I do that, so that was a dumb idea, all, all things considering. So maybe that works okay there. Maybe. It probably doesn't do much. But I'm willing to call this a complete model. It's just slight things I don't like about it, but... I think it is up there with how the Banish looks. I just have little idea how I can fix these, like, curves. That's the big concern, the main things I don't like about it. And again, this section, engine component, seems way too flat to my liking. And if I have proper engines to fit in there, to my liking, then that probably will work better too. In fact, I almost want to center this a little bit more. Well, I'm probably just making a mistake trying to do that there. I think that did it. But, of course, that should be like bigger thrusters. I'm getting nitpicky for no reason now. And you can see stretching out it does not work very well unless I want the wings to look bigger. So let's just leave it as is. Let's try not to nitpick too much. And the Trespasser is complete. And I just want to make this a standard capital ship, I think, because that's fair, right? That is fair to say. And we got ourselves an impressive ship. It actually does look quite impressive. The lighting underneath is pretty consistent. I like it a lot. Top some is with the lightings where the discrepancies show. And again, these little turrets or whatever the hell you want to call these things could be off out of place, so that could be a bit of a concern for me. Nonetheless, let's arm it quickly. We're gonna give it the whole works there. So lasers, what you could call for lasers, are going where the doomsday device is. Or hell, to be honest, I want to put prototype deranium drivers on this thing. That would justify the doomsday. Or these mega cannons. And I think I go with two of them even. That's going to burn through my deranium so quickly though, so I need to be careful of that. I do need to be careful of that, so I'm, but I only plan on getting like a small handful of these things. But that would justify easily what I want with this weapon, or this component. So I think I'm okay with that. Shrink it down, we have a railgun set. Unless I want to actually connect them to the engines themselves, which I don't think I need to do. Next up, stingers. Maybe throwing the stingers on the top here will help a little bit with the cosmetics, with how flat it is. So we got two stingers on there already. I think I want to make more dorsal tubes or something. Kind of sticking out off the out of the hall. Damn it. Single degree rotations, I do not like you until I actually need you. And it's annoying to have to keep changing you, but not much I could do about it. Not a lot I could do about it, unfortunately, but... Because, like I said, I think I'd rather these be dorsal tubes of some kind. So, do I have them connecting to the side? Pro probably not. If I were to be honest, I probably wouldn't do that. But oh, it begs the question if I want to connect to the center component here. In any form, that would look nice. Potentially. Let's see, 1.7, negative 3... Negative 3, 1.7, let's see. What was the x-axis? That was also 2.7, okay. So I think that looks good there for missile tubes. It doesn't do anything for the rest of the flat body. I told, mentioned already, but it works. 
We've got two Geranium Drivers, now we fit this out with a lot of lasers. To kind of like, at least give it some comparable damage. Now the question is, where do I put the lasers? I kind of want to have like several underneath, because it begs to be thrown down there, to be honest. To an extent, because we got such flat space there for multiple, multiple laser weaponry. How many do I want to throw on? Four? Five? I think I want to get to ten. Just got to make sure placement's ideal. And that seems pretty good there. We'll worry about more weapons in a moment after I get the utilities in. Because without a doubt we need engines on this thing. And actually this would give me the square thrusters I would have wanted. The only problem is I would need like a generic component, wouldn't I? Actually, I could probably find generic components. I'll probably do that in post. After I do this recording, fix that. Or I could just slap it on like that. And look at that, we got quad thrusters. Almost to the point that I'd rather just rotate this. I'd rather just rotate this completely. Where is it? Let me rotate this the other way. Oh crap. Never mind that plan. Never mind that plan. I'm going to have to do that next. Like I said, post recording, fix that. Because I was going to flip this 180 and see how that looks. So hold on to the idea. But that gives me a lot of thrusters in the back now. So I think I'm okay with it. To an extent. So thrusters in. I was kind of tempted to gain some Promethean drivers, but. That gives me 5.5 move versus 3. I like that potential. Cosmetically, though, it wouldn't fit. Cosmetically, at least. And it, I, it would justify it, though. Considering I'm not going to. I'm already using Duranium Drivers, and I haven't even bothered to upgrade my mining for the Promethean just yet, so that could work. And I also have access to Antimatter, which apparently my Antimatter is being used for something. Oh, one's being used for a Mercenary Ship, one's on Aurora, okay. But I can upgrade that further, so that's not a huge concern. I only have, like, access to one of them, though. Now, Armor. I think it's safe to say just slap on one of each type. I don't think anything can go wrong with that, even if it's completely unnecessary. Because everything's going to pretty much die anyway. So every, all the races are pretty much dead as is. I don't even need the battle cruisers for that. To be perfectly honest. But it adds a little bit of consistency in the random case I have to go up against in like future campaigns when I'm fighting the S-Track. So it helps make it keep... A it helps it be a more balanced ship, at least. So, life support. Without a doubt, we want some life support up here. Just not going to do very much. Do I have a second one? Give it more reach. Cosmetically, I want to. Just for the sake of cosmetics. And what... Uh, do we have any worthwhile utilities? Pretty much not. Unless I want the stasis field, which could be useful. But I think I want that more for a utility ship, so never mind that thought. So now, slap on more weaponry on this thing. We're going to find one more missile slot somewhere. I don't know where to put it unless I want it on the wing. Can I throw it on the tip of the wing? Would that be a good idea? And that leaves us with maybe enough mass for one more laser cannon. Maybe. Now the big question is, do I have this sticking out in any way? I kind of do. I just don't know how to get the best look for it. Yeah, I don't think it looks the best like that, to be honest, so... Let's find another spot to put it. Actually, I could put it on the shield there on the front, or whatever you want to call this component. Because it does stand out, maybe that would be work. That would be a good spot for missile tubes. Just put it right where that white lighting is. I just gotta f maneuver these damn things now into place. To make sure it fits in properly. 
So now rotate up. And again, get it into place. And we are golden, I think. Just got to adjust the scaling some. And I think we're good. No one will be the wiser. Although it doesn't really... Yeah, it's kind of intrusive. Maybe, we'll, maybe I second guess that idea. Yeah, that was probably a dumb idea. I'll be frank. So, where the hell would I put missiles then? If anywhere at all. That's the only problem. I don't know where to put missiles. I guess I put another one right here. Just rotate up and then just sink it in. Just try not to be too fancy. Because it is kind of in a similar spot, so it works well for consistency sake at least. We'll see how that works. And how does the other side look? Not quite sticking out, so I almost want to rotate it. But I think we're good there. And like I said, one more laser slot. Do I? I have room for two more. Which would, wouldn't be too bad. So... Let me throw these on the wings then. Oh, I don't have the ton I don't have the mass frame anymore, so never mind that thought. And I think what's left is to just sink these lasers in a tiny bit, because if you look at them too closely, they look horrible with how they're connecting. I'll be perfectly honest. Now I'll leave that be. Trespasser is done. Whoops, that is not a Mark One. That is not a Mark bracket. Hyphen, whatever the hell it is. Let's go back to a capital ship. Get you done. And how you you were actually no more expensive than actually my banished, which is kind of sad. You're only a tiny bit more expensive, which I guess might be a good thing. I'm not sure. Let's have some fun with it though. <laughs>